Hey everybody, got an awesome video for you here today. Today I'm standing in front of this brand new giant water heater. It's about maybe three weeks old or so. And what happens is the unit does turn on. The vendor motor turns on. You can see here we got our heartbeat, right? Our heartbeat for the diagnostic just means that it's on. Bright, dim, bright, dim. The unit's working. I can hear the vendor motor. Then it cuts out and goes to our diagnostic. One flash, two flash, three flashes and then it stops so then we got our three second pause that means it's a three flash diagnostic and there you can see right there it means that the tco switch or pressure switch have failed in the open position three flash diagnostic tco or pressure switch tco means your thermal cutoff just in case uh, any of y'all are wondering what the hell is a tco now we're going to follow the uh, wiring up here. Let's uh, take a look at our pressure switch and you can see the yellow wire going in for our pressure switch, gray wire coming out for the uh, thermal cutoff. They're actually interconnected. So let's take a look at our pressure switch over here. It's rated 0 0.27 inches of water column pressure. So we need more than that in order to make the pressure switch. So I'm going to check the uh, water column pressure, obviously. So I pull the hose off the tube at the top, connect it to my manometer, and I was getting a great reading. We've got to get more than 0 0.27 inches water column pressure in order to get these two contacts to close right i was getting 0 0.90 inches water column beautiful that should close it no problem that should mean our pressure switch is fine at the very least it's getting the negative pressure from the vendor motor that we need in order to close it all right so back to square one the diagnostic tco or pressure switch i did jumper the pressure switch i checked it checked the pressure everything's fine so what's next our thermal cutoff which is this little sucker right here the tco switch okay it senses the temperature in the vendor motor electricity goes through it if everything is fine electricity comes back out if not and let's say the vendor motor overheats the electricity will flow through it if the switch will open because of the heat it will stop and it will not allow the low voltage to go through it the voltage will just be stuck there hence you're getting the diagnostic code for the thermal cutoff. So now we need to check the thermal cutoff here and you can see these are these two gray wires here. That's basically the two wires at your th uh, thermal cutoff. One wire goes in, one wire comes out. And these are our two connections right here for the thermal cutoff, one at the pressure switch and one that goes into the main um, uh, harness there, okay? So that's what we're gonna check right now. All right, so here basically uh, the one thing I'm going to do just to keep this simple is I'm going to close this circuit. I'm going to basically jumper it. Uh, the wire the wire is just basically a path for the electrical. It gets blocked at the thermal cutoff. So I'm basically going to eliminate the thermal cutoff and I'm going to use my little alligator clips here to jumper the voltage across that contact that normally would be going through the thermal cutoff so it's just basically a jumper okay i'm isolating the thermal cutoff and i'm using my little alligator clips as the thermal cutoff right and here you can see i turn it back on we're going to wait for our heartbeat that's going to power our vendor motor and away you go Okay, and that's exactly what it was. Now, to be 100% sure, I also did do a continuity test across the thermal cutoff. There was no continuity across it. So that's exactly what it was. And you can see here, as soon as I jumpered it, the unit turned on. I did my safety check, made sure everything was fine um, before I ordered the uh, 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 thermal cutoff there. But that's all it needed. I ordered a thermal cutoff. Popped in a new one and away you go. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care. Have a good one now.